We're really keen for Manchester to become the first carbon literate city and that is really about training at least 15% of our residents to be carbon literate. In Manchester we always like to do things differently and we don't shy away from challenges and it's going to be really exciting to be that first carbon literate locality. What a carbon literate city looks like is that climate action influences everything that the city does and that everybody is empowered to be change agents for climate action to achieve a net zero city by 2038 or sooner. In terms of a vision for Manchester as a kind of more carbon literate city in the future that might be kind of visible across the city as you're moving around the city, kind of sustainable practices are more evident and communicated more clearly by a whole range of different organisations and you can see that that cross-sector collaboration is happening. For me, it's really about a city that is just more welcoming and inviting and a place where people want to be. We're very clear about the need to take specific actions and that's why we have a very detailed climate change action plan that has targets within it. So far, I think we have 3,240 staff already trained in carbon literacy and we're heading towards 3,500 mark uh, by the end of this year. We're in the action plan, we've got our direct actions that we take, so that's work we've done to decarbonise our buildings, change our operational fleet, things like street lighting, really physical, tangible things that people can see making a difference across the city and across the organisation. Manchester Museum has quite a long history with the Carbon Literacy Project and Carbon Literacy Training. We've actually been training since 2016 and so we can claim to be the world's first carbon literate museum. We've now trained, I think it's over 1,400 people working in museums up and down England uh, from around 375 different organisations. Thinking about Manchester Museum's role in terms of how we might help create a carbon literate city, I think it, for us it's been about looking at how we can move beyond just being a space for informing and educating and inspiring people through the different narratives we tell in our galleries and our exhibitions using our collections. As educators, universities clearly have a critical role to play in creating a carbon literate city. I and mean, if we look at Manchester as our example, between Manchester Metropolitan and the University of Manchester, we have around 100,000 students in the Oxford Road area of Manchester. If we can encourage all of those students to become carbon literate and they then take that out through their placements and into their workplaces and their future careers, then that could be a real step change for Manchester's journey as a whole. Our current focus is the Department for Education funded Climate Ambassadors programme where we're working with a whole range of fantastic partners to support education settings across Manchester, Greater Manchester and the wider Northwest to develop their carbon literacy and green skills and turn climate ambition into climate action. For me, a carbon literate city means that knowledge and awareness is weaved into all areas of our daily lives, so it's not an added bolt-on that requires extra effort, it's something that works seamlessly for everyone. And I think for the tech sector, I think we need to be designing a low carbon solution. Manchester is the tech hub of the UK and it's grown massively in the last 10 years. It's at the forefront of innovation, so we need to be spreading the word. Being carbon literate enables you to think about the actions that you're going to take and translate it into what's the impact this is having and what difference and changes can I make in my behaviour to make a difference on that overall carbon budget to become a zero carbon city and have a better place to live by 2038.